This is a quick informational video. I got the Motorola Turbo 2, also known as the Moto X Force. And I'm going to show you if your phone is freezing, lagging, not responding, or just running slow, or even hot, or battery drain. Uh, I'm going to show you some of the things, the basics that you can actually do. Uh, so first, what I like to do, make sure you just close all your recent apps or background apps. Uh, second, you want to check how much memory you've got. So you're going to go into settings and then storage. And basically right here, if you're running low on uh, space, so right here available 16.7 gigs, so I've got enough space. But if you're running low on space, you can actually transfer uh, files, photos, folders to an uh, external memory card. And that'll actually help uh, clear it up. Now, if you've done that and you got more uh, things, so then what you want to do is go to your list of apps and you want to delete old or unused apps. If there's apps that you don't use anymore, get rid of them. My general rule of thumb is if I don't use an app for more than 30 days, I get rid of it. Now, the other thing is if you've got apps and you don't update them, check for uh, app updates. It's good to update apps, uh, especially if, you know, the app's having problems. So just go into the Google Play Store, you know, and then check for updates. So that's the next thing. Now, the other part here is to clear app cache data. This is kind of probably the big one here. It's under storage. And right here, it's going to say calculating by cache data. We're going to give it a minute here and let it finish. And uh, usually, if you've got like one gig or more, uh, now this one, I just reset it recently. But usually, if you got like one gig or more of cache data, just, I mean, just, actually, this is just good to do uh, regularly. Just tap on cache data, hit OK. You don't lose anything. All it does is just those temporary files clears them up. So less things that your phone has to go through. Now, if you've cleared the cache data, next thing what you want to do is go to settings and see if you've got developer options turned on. Because if you've got developer options turned on, that can do it. Now, do you have to actually enable this option? Normally, it's not here. But if you use it, turn it off because that can actually uh, do that. Now, if developer options are off and your phone's still lagging, uh, unmount your memory card because the Turbo 2 does support a memory card here, uh, right here. So if anything, just go to settings, storage, and unmount SD card. If the problem goes away, you probably got a corrupt file on your memory card or the memory card is actually corrupted. Now, if you're still having problems, basically go to settings, about phone, and uh, check for updates. Sorry, not about phone. Yeah. Not, uh, settings and then system updates. Check for updates uh, in case because I know uh, this one's going to be going through a lot of updates here because the Marshmallow is going to be coming out soon anyways. Uh, if uh, no updates, then your next thing is safe mode. So you can actually just press and hold the power key, tap and hold power off, and it'll ask you if you want to reboot the safe mode. There's another way with the phone off. Check out my other video. And if safe mode doesn't uh, help, uh, you may actually have to factory reset the phone. Now, usually the rule of thumb is if you factory reset the phone, the best thing to do is install one app per day. Uh, basically, process of elimination. If on the 10th day you get the problem, then we know it's the 10th app you installed. Uh, hope this helped. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out my other helpful videos.